Um, it's been a while since I've talked to you. I haven't had a voice, so I've not been having much luck with the rashes on my face or not having a voice. Okay, so what I want to talk to you today is people are always telling singles that maybe they're too fussy. Now, I want to say one thing, that when it comes to one of the most important relationships in your life, you can never be too fussy. I mean, the person that you decide to be within an intimate relationship will be closer than anyone else in your life. So it is vital to be fussy about the person that you let in, okay? So, what I do find with singles is they tell me they've got incredibly high standards. And look, honestly, have incredibly high standards. But they don't tend to have incredibly high standards about the right stuff. They tend to be a bit superficial of how someone looks, etc and not fussy enough on how someone makes them feel. And I've talked about this a lot before. And what I find is people tend to let in some really bad relationships. Now there, there's two types of relationships that people have. And it's important to lose your taste for the toxic relationships that make you feel bad. Those relationships where you don't feel good enough, you don't feel valued, where you're just not good enough and you feel like you have to try and be what the other person wants. You know, like we do, a lot of those relationships are really sexy and they're really addictive and there's a lot of research that says people who are in and out of your life is a very addictive with the chemicals it releases. So we can be addicted to the wrong type of relationships rather than the healthy ones. And you know, it's a really good way to protect yourself from being hurt. And if you've got fear of an intimacy, being in these relationships that you waste time on is a really good way of protecting yourself, which is an interesting fact. So, you know, you can be wired for two types of relationships. You can be wired for the relationship where, you know, you're almost, the person's almost available, but not quite. And that's one of the most compelling reasons most compelling things in the world to have someone almost love you and not quite it's really hard to give up those relationships they actually touch the parts of us where we were hurt as a child okay so we tend to spend a lot more time trying to win them those over you know on again off again it leaves you feeling unfulfilled and they're really quite painful what it's important to do is you need to lose your taste for them totally lose your taste because it's not giving you what you want and go for relationships of inspiration now you need to start becoming turned on and attracted by someone's kindness by their goodness by their decency by the life that they lead you become attracted to how beautifully they treat you this leads to happiness, whereas the, the other, I heard someone describe them as attractions of deprivation, lead to pain and unhappiness and lots of wasting of time. You want to choose the people who, where your gifts and your soul is safe. So I want you to do two things. I want you to choose to forsake the unhealthy attractions and choose attractions of inspiration. Make the decision, become extraordinarily, extravagantly choosy and only choose the healthy relationships. And look, if you want any help in this space, that's where I come in with the coaching. A lot of people, if you do what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always done. And you can waste a lot of time but if you do what you've always done you're going to get the same thing and not be happy and that's not what I want for you I want you to be in a healthy happy relationship it's been great talking to you today I hope you enjoy the rest of your day